Hello students, welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, we are going to learn a new topic under active methylene compounds that is tautomerism. In the previous video, we did or we have learned Claisen condensation. That is a very important named reaction. Under Claisen condensation, we will be learning preparation of acetoacetic ester. Hope you have uh, watched that video. If you haven't watched yet, please uh, uh, go through the channel and uh, it's the previous video. Kindly check the playlist for Claisen condensation. You will find uh, the video and please kindly note down in, in your notebooks. And also students, those who are watching for the first time, please subscribe the channel and also those who have already subscribed like the video and also share with your friends moving on to today's topic that is tautomerism before knowing what tautomerism is we should know what tautomers are t a u t o m e r s so tautomers are nothing but students they are the isomers of a a same substance they are in equilibrium with one another okay same substance only but uh, it exists in two different forms or two different isomeric forms and uh, they both are in equilibrium with one another so such isomeric forms which exist in equilibrium with one another we call them as tautomers and the phenomenon we call it as tautomerism okay so, so open your notebook students put the side heading tautomerism and write down the definition the isomeric forms of the isomeric forms of the same substance same substance which are in which are in dynamic equilibrium which are in dynamic equilibrium are called as tautomers don't write spelling mistake students are called tautomers and and the phenomenon is called as the phenomenon is called as tautomerism clear so this is the definition of tautomerism now the main question here is which compound or uh, what are the compounds uh, which can exhibit tautomerism? So there is uh, a specific feature here. The compounds which contain a special group uh, like C double bond O, CH. I will show you students. Here I have written the compounds containing C double bond O, CH group. Put it in inverted commas. See C double bond, what is it called as? It is called as carbonyl group and immediately adjacent carbon with the hydrogen. So the compounds having this group can exhibit tautomerism. Okay, so write down this sentence. The compounds which contain the group C double bond O C H exhibit tautomerism. Okay, so first you should know what tautomers are, what tautomerism is and what type of compounds can exhibit tautomerism. And also students, so in this phenomenon that is tautomerism, we always find or we always observe two isomeric forms. Two isomeric forms. We have seen no, these two will be existing in equilibrium. So there will always be two isomeric forms of the same substance. One is uh, keto form and the other one is enolic form or keto form and enol form. Okay. So these are the uh, two general isomeric forms which we find under the phenomenon tautomerism. So please uh, copy that sentence also students. In tautomerism, we always uh, find two isomeric forms. One is keto form underline keto form and the other is uh, enolic form. So students here I am showing you the notes which you can directly write in your exam. 
okay so that's the reason i'm asking you to copy down in your notebooks fine so these two isomers we have seen keto and enolic forms so there is another name for tautomerism it is nothing but a keto enol tautomerism hence hence tautomerism is also known as keto enol tautomerism clear students so definition the two isomeric forms and the other name of tautomerism now here we have seen that there are two isomeric forms one is keto and the other one is enolic form so here what happens is keto form will be converted into enolic form and that process we call it as enolization okay i will show you the examples also so that it will be uh, easy for you to understand the process of uh, converting keto form to enolic form the two isomeric forms we have seen keto and enol so converting keto into enol form enolic form we call it as is called as right is called as enolization e n o l i s a t i o n kindly underline the important words students enolization So, what is the process of converting keto form into enolic form? It is called as enolization. So, why is uh, this tautomerism occurring? So, how tautomerism occurs in a compound? So, how a keto form is being converted into enolic form? So, here I have mentioned tautomerism. Tautomerism takes place by the migration of proton or h plus from one atom to other and this is called as prototropy okay look here students tautomerism occurs due to the migration of proton brackets mention h plus from from one atom to other from one atom to other this is known as prototropy so i will ask you a question what is the process of converting keto form to enolic form called as enolization what is uh, uh, the process of migration of proton from one atom to other it is called as prototropy okay because of this prototropy tautomerism is taking place in a particular compound okay now below i have given one example note down students ch3 c double bond o ch c double bond o o c 2 h 5 what is the name of this compound do you remember what is the name of this compound students this is aceto acetic ester and what is this group called as ch2 group methylene group normal only methylene group or something else is there this is active methylene group why because this is present in between two electronegative groups two carbonyl groups this is active methylene group so we have already seen that this is called as aceto acetic ester now this form is uh, mentioned as keto form okay so why because it has c double bond o group right now this is keto form now this is uh, converted into enolic form that means enolization has uh, taken place so how this keto is converted into enolic form what is the enolic form check ch3 coh double bond ch C double bond O O C two H both are estoastic esters only both are of the same compound. This is estoastic ester and this is also aceto acetic ester. But this is keto form. This is enolic form. So how this is converted into enolic form? I will show you. Take a pencil so that we can uh, shift the bonds or the atoms. So students here in this keto form. C double bond O group is there as you are saying. So this bond will be shifted to oxygen. So O becomes O minus and C becomes C plus. Okay. So now this O minus what it does? It takes up the hydrogen from the methylene group. Okay. 
so this oxygen when it acquires negative charge it takes up so carefully draw the arrow fine so this o minus takes up h plus so this bond don't draw the arrow over this bond fine so h is going out as h plus we have seen migration of proton that is h plus from one atom to the other so from carbon it is moving towards oxygen so what happens here o minus h plus oh fine now this will not stand in the air this bond will move towards move in between carbon and carbon okay so here forms a double bond check whether the enolic form that uh, it's written here whether it is correct or not ch3 look here students ch3 coh coh double bond ch c double bond o o c2 h5 this is a enolic form okay understood na so what is tautomerism what are tautomers what are the two isomeric forms in tautomer tautomerism keto form and enolic form conversion of keto form into enolic form what is it called as and how tautomerism is taking place so these are all the main points under tautomerism now let us see the evidences for keto and enolic forms in aceto acetic ester because here we have shown a example as estoestic ester two forms existing keto form and enolic form we will now see the evidences for the existence of keto form and enolic form in estoestic ester so put the side heading evidences for keto form evidences for keto form so under evidences for keto form i have shown uh, two reactions students this is uh, nh2oh what is nh2oh called as hydroxyl amine and this is hcn okay so c double bond o group of estoestic ester reacting with nh2oh forming c double bond noh the final compound we call it as oxyme and also c double bond o group on reaction with hcn it forms a cohcn this double bond will be broken so h comes to oxygen and cn goes to carbon so this we call it as cyanohydrin so what do we understand from these uh, reactions acetoestic ester when treated with uh, hydroxyl amine that is nh2oh uh, it gives a uh, oxyme and also estoestic ester when treated with hcn it gives cyanohydrin okay so these two reactions uh, indicate uh, the or uh, tells us the presence of ketonic group in acetoacetic ester okay so please mention somewhere here students uh, i have written under evidences for keto form acetoacetic ester gives oxyme oxyme with hydroxyl amine with hydroxyl amine and also it gives cyanohydrin with the hcn write down these two reactions and name of the products obtain oxyme and cyanohydrin kindly write down here the above test indicates just a second students look here this indicates presence of ketonic group in acetoestic ester you mention this point fine so that is the evidence for keto form in acetoestic ester next the evidence for enolic form put the side heading evidences for enolic form let me tell you what is this uh, enolic form in ol in means uh, double bond ol means alcoholic group in double bond oh alcoholic group so together see uh, double bond and oh are attached to the same carbon hence we call such compounds or such forms as 
enolic form so evidence for enolic form in acetoacetic ester when acetoacetic ester, acetoacetic ester is uh, added to bromine the color red color of bromine is decolorized and also acetoacetic ester when it is treated with kmno4 its pink color will be decolorized this is why students this is because uh, of the double bond present in acetoacetic ester so as uh, red color of look here acetoacetic ester can decolorize the red color of bromine and pink color of kmno4 as it is decolorizing the red color of bromine and pink color of kmno4 we can uh, uh, confirm that uh, acetoacetic ester contains uh, uh, the enolic form of acetoacetic ester has uh, a double bond okay next what is the evidence for uh, oh group when acetoacetic ester is treated with uh, fecl3 ferric chloride we find the formation of uh, a nice color that is violet color as it gives a violet color with fecl3 we can say that double bond and also oh group they are attached to the same carbon which indicates the presence of enolic form so that's what i have shown below students write down the enolic form of acetoacetic ester got it so double bond we can say that as it is decolorizing the red color of bromine pink color of kmno4 and both the double bond and oh group are attached to the same carbon this how can we say we can say by the reaction with the reaction of acetoacetic ester with fecl3 as it is giving violet color clear now we have seen the evidence for double bond we have seen the evidence uh, uh, for uh, double bond and oh attached to the same carbon and also evidence for oh group it gives uh, when it is treated with uh, na that is uh, sodium metal hydrogen gas is liberated students this indicates the presence of alcoholic group in acetoacetic ester that is the final statement it gives hydrogen gas when treated with sodium metal this indicates the presence of this indicates the presence of alcoholic group in acetoacetic ester this indicates the presence of alcoholic group in acetoacetic ester so with this uh, we have learned or we have seen uh, the evidences for keto form and uh, enolic form as well okay students keto form it's giving reaction with the nh2oh and hcn and enolic form double bond reaction with bromine and reaction with kmno4 it's decolorizing the red color and the pink color and the oh and double bond attach it to the same carbon this we can uh, we can uh, uh, prove by the reaction with the fecl3 how look here with fecl3 it's giving violet color violet color with fecl3 and also next as it is uh, liberating hydrogen gas with sodium metal we can uh, say that there is a alcoholic group in acetoacetic ester so this is all about uh, tautomerism or ketoenol tautomerism uh, in uh, acetoacetic ester students so this is also an important topic so all these points will be sufficient uh, for your exam point of view kindly wrote, write down all these points in your notebook and uh, please subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss any notification and also meet you in the next video with a new topic take care students